I'm a responsible driver. I mean, I like to go to the limit that I can because, you know, I uh, like to try to cut down on the time that it takes to get somewhere. But I'm a responsible driver. I'm, uh, I'm a good driver. Uh, you know, it's uh, always important to arrive uh, safely. But I have driven a car on a track, and I enjoyed that. I drove at 135 miles an hour, just with one car length between uh, the car in front of me and beside me, you know. So uh, it's very uh, invigorating. When I was younger, I worked at a drag strip. That's where they race cars uh, straight for a quarter of a mile. I love coming and uh, looking at Manet's uh, uh, woman with the, uh, the hat uh, over in the uh, Museum d'Orsay. It's a very green background and uh, the woman's there. Uh, you, she's nude, you see her breasts and she has a hat on. Such a fantastic uh, painting. It's one of my all-time favorite paintings. No. Uh, I guess for many years, um, I wear um, suits. Uh, there have been different uh, companies that have, uh, you know, made uh, clothing available to me. And so I end up that I have dress clothes and I have really casual clothes and I don't, I don't have much in between, you know, other than just really casual that I'll be in the studio with or uh, clothes that I'm out. But I guess in a European tradition, I enjoy, uh, you know, wearing a suit and uh, uh, putting a tie on. Uh, but it really did start off just that uh, companies would uh, give clothes to me and I didn't have much in between. Uh, I think that within my work, I'm trying to deal with archetype and I'm trying to uh, deal with a vocabulary that's uh, uh, profound and is communal in its uh, uh, being. So I hope that there's uh, some depth there that uh, uh, gives these uh, works a reason for, uh, for being. Um, I like the archetypal. You know, I feel the same that I always have. And I, you know, you always have people that uh, maybe view things the way that uh, that you see things. And I've always taken the responsibility to try to communicate as clearly as possible the way I view the work and uh, the type of uh, reasons for uh, creating it. But uh, there's always people that see things a little differently. And so there's probably I have as much opposition today to. Uh, to some of the works that I may have in the past, but uh, I don't think that ever changes. I think it's just part of human nature that we look at the world differently. Uh, consensus comes about later in time uh, if you're effective, uh, but uh, the artist always just has to be generous and try to reach everyone. I don't, I don't think it, it's unfair, and I think it's always nice to, um, to receive some uh, support from all different areas, not just, it's very healthy to receive support uh, from both uh, public and private and all different uh, parts of society. But uh, some cultures just don't really, uh, you know, if you ask them what culture is, you know, it's Hollywood, it's, uh, you know, it's not the the painter in the studio. I mean, yes, if you really throw the net a little wider, it'll be drawn out that far. But in it's Hollywood, it's uh, pop music, it's uh, uh, more kind of maybe commercially defined uh, uh, culture. I think it's individuals contemplating their, uh, their own life and uh, delving within their own inner being and uh, coming out and wanting to go outside themselves when they feel secure enough uh, within and actually uh, looking for interaction with others and showing uh, the same respect that they develop for themselves, uh, sharing that respect uh, with others, viewing people uh, that way. 
I always thought that I was. And uh, I think that a lot of times people will refer to a political art as somebody that has a slogan that's uh, on a particular issue, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, stop a war or, or stop, uh, you know, damaging a certain tree or uh, killing a certain animal. But I always thought that in a vaster sense that I was a, a political artist in empowering people with their own potential and, uh, you know, trying to just give reference uh, constantly just how easy it is for people to empower themselves. They first have to accept themselves and uh, once they do then they can have enlightenment and transcendence. And you affect people not through distribution but you affect people through idea and so whether it's uh, uh, the purity of just one idea or whether there's a, a platform and this idea is coming uh, from that platform it's still just one idea that has such power to really permeate and uh, connect with people I feel close to everyone. I really do. I mean, I feel close to uh, every artist. And uh, the wonderful thing about art is that uh, connecting vocabularies and uh, reaching out and uh, touching other artists and making a reference and uh, interweaving your own uh, way of looking at art and touching upon theirs and going back through history. I mean, you can do it in contemporary time, but you're limited now. You can't really project so far in the future other than you making a gesture at this moment in time. But uh, you can go backwards and uh, you can really kind of reveal uh, human history. I collect art, yeah. Uh, but, I, you know, I, I can say the last work I collected was a John Wesley. Uh, Bumstead painting. Uh, I acquired that maybe about a week ago. So I, I give a lot of thought into what uh, I collect. And I collect all different range of things from antiquities. Uh, uh, I, I just recently acquired, but this is more or less a fun thing, not an important uh, uh, type of object, a little periapis uh, from, uh, I don't know, maybe 100 BC or something. Or I'll, I'll get involved in different antiquities to uh, a wide range. I think that there are works of mine that are accessible. I mean, there's there are prints, there uh, there are different objects that are accessible, and you know, any artwork once you view it, you can carry it around in your mind, and you can carry it around in your heart. And there are many things that I've seen in museums and in private collections that uh, I can't uh, acquire, but yet I can still uh, carry them. I just spoke to you about this Manet painting in Museum d'Orsay. I carry that with me every day, but uh, I don't have ownership of it. 